Hi, this is Michael from DNA, and in the next few minutes you're going to learn how you can import resources such as books, journal articles, or items from Google Scholar into your Zotero library. Now Zotero is a fantastic tool for all students, but if you're investigating this software due to a specific learning difference, such as dyslexia, then I'd particularly recommend getting to grips with all the available features. It really makes the process of creating a bibliography and managing research effortless. So first things first, let's talk about books. So we're going to choose this book as an example, Cognitive Psychology, a student's handbook by Michael W. Isink and Mark T. Keane. And if you look at the back of any book, you should find an ISBN number written above and below the barcode. Now we can use this code to get our book into Zotero. Now I'm using Zotero installed inside my Firefox browser. So I'm going to click on the little Z for Zotero icon in the corner of the screen and uh, that will load Zotero. Now I'm just going to click on this button here, Add Items by Identifier. Now PMIDs are medical journals, DOIs are all other types of journals and ISBNs are the codes that you would usually find on the back of most books. So I'm going to paste that ISBN from the back of my book into Zotero now and press enter. And there we go, straight away it's found Cognitive Psychology, a student's handbook. And if you look on the right hand side of the screen, we can see that it has pulled in all the information that I might want to use in my reference later on. That's not the only way that you can get books into your Zotero library. I've just loaded up this book on Amazon.co.uk uh, and it's called Semiotics by Daniel Chandler. What you should find if you have Zotero installed is that if you look at the address bar at the top of the screen there's now a little book icon which will enable you to save information from Amazon directly into your Zotero library. So we don't even need to worry about the ISBN. I'm just going to click on that and if you look in the bottom right hand corner see it's saved that into my Zotero library. So let's just have a quick look, make sure it's in there and can we see it can we see it yes there it is semiotics the basics and again it's pulled out all the information into Zotero now here's a similar example uh, this time I've gone to the New England Journal of Medicine and I'm having a quick look at this article on uh, drug resistant tuberculosis um, and I think there's a PDF file available of the full article on this website now if you look at the icon in the address bar you should find it looks slightly different but don't worry too much about that if we go ahead and click on it and look what's happening at the bottom of the screen it's actually taken a snapshot of the screen and it's also downloaded the full text PDF article as well as adding all the information about this journal article into our Zotero library again let's just check that has gone through there we are now if you look next to this Zotero entry, we've got a little arrow, and if I click on that, we can see the snapshot. Now the snapshot is very clever. It's like a bookmark on a web browser, but it actually takes a copy of the web page. So if that web page disappears for any reason, you can always come back to your snapshot and load it up in your web browser. And we've also got the full text PDF article, which we can just load in our web browser by double clicking on it. How cool is that? Now I've got one more example and this is using Google Scholar which is an excellent search engine specifically for finding journal articles and I've done a search for primates trichromatic vision in the search bar at the top there and all these different articles have come up in the search window there. Now I'm going to have a look at this icon at the top of the screen see it's slightly different again we've got a little yellow folder instead and if I click on that see now we have checkboxes that relate directly to the articles that we have on the screen there so I'm just going to choose maybe the first three and that means that when I click on OK it's just going to import those articles that I've chosen from the list that's come up when I did my search so let's have a quick look in Zotero and yes we can see we've got all our articles in there and there we have it so a very short introduction to getting different types of resources into your Zotero library.